Hello, welcome to yet another speed build. Um, I literally just finished this build this morning. Um, so yeah, I thought since it's fresh in my mind, I would record the voiceover and I guess post it right away. Um, anyways, I guess I will kind of intro this build. So actually I have like a folder on, I guess my desktop of just kind of like cool houses that I've seen here and there and things that I think I can recreate in The Sims. And that was basically the gist of it. So I found a picture I think on like Pinterest or something. Um, I really liked it and I thought maybe I could create it in The Sims. I'm not really sure if I should link it because to be honest, it doesn't really turn out at all how it looks. Um, as you can kind of see, this is what the build I guess kind of looks like. But let me tell you, there are a lot of creative liberties that I... I don't know, uh, faced with this build because, uh, frankly, I couldn't find the rest of the pictures. Um, and I didn't, I think I saw the, the, um, backyard kind of area or the back of the house and I didn't actually really like it that much. So I changed it up a lot. I think only kind of like that middle chunk section of the front looks kind of like the build. Um, and the rest of it is just basically whatever I wanted to do. But yeah, so this is definitely an interesting house shape. I don't think I've ever created a shape or a house this shape, which was, uh, it, I mean, it had some challenges, um, but it was super exciting to do. And once, you know, once I kind of figured it out, it was actually super um, exciting to kind of furnish, um, play with. And I think the layout actually works really nicely. Um, initially, I wasn't quite sure on the layout. And also... I did want to mention, I completely forgot um, to actually do an access to the backyard. So there technically is no backyard. Um, there is a front porch and that is it. So here I'm kind of doing a little pop out section just because I felt like the back was, I mean, you can definitely see it. It's very flat. Um, so I definitely wanted to give it a little bit more of interest. Um, I was originally going to put like a little, what is it called? A turret thing? A little like thing at the top of that like hexagonal um, pop out section but it didn't look good so I changed it and yeah I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension to the back um, and like I said at this point I I think I was considering doing a like an exit to the backyard but when I started furnishing it and when I started doing the floor plan I completely forgot so yeah well it's not like there's really anything you know in the back anyways and um to be honest, the landscaping isn't very, it's not very innovative, let's just say that. It's just kind of like a couple of trees and some shrubs. I think I might have even cut them away in the um, edit of them. So yeah, as to not like bore you with ju just putting down some bunches of bushes and trees and such. Um, okay, so here I'm still doing, to be honest, I'm having like a little bit of difficulty with the colors, uh, the roof like is not really lining up i add in um what is it called those floor trims and the floor trims aren't aren't matching with the roof trims so everything is looking a little bit weird um and i was <sighs> okay so we'll get into the colors here the colors took me forever to do at this point i wanted to make it kind of true to the um, picture that I saw. Um, so I think these little wooden um, vertical, not vertical, uh, horizontal slats kind of thing are, um, they're green, which was kind of similar to the house that I saw. But like I said, uh, the whole house of this basically changes. I don't think it, I actually don't remember. I think I changed the color of it to yeah, to brown. Um, so the green doesn't stay for too long. Um, and I'm using these windows. Um, I really like these windows because they come in like a whole bunch of different sizes. Um, so even like not just the width, but also the height. So you have like the short ones and the really long one, as you can see that I used at that um, front little pop out section. And uh, yeah, so this house is definitely very interesting <laughs> as I'm starting it off. Um, I really like it though. I like how it's kind of more, I, I won't call it a square house, but it kind of is like equal in terms of its width and length. I think a lot of times I either make it like a very much so like a rectangle, but this one, it's kind of like a square, but then each side of the square kind of has something like coming out of it, jutting out of it, concave in kind of deal like that. So you know what? 
actually building from a reference house that you find online, it actually makes you kind of like creatively think out of the box. Do something that you haven't really done before, which I um, am very excited for. And I'm kind of like building it up a little bit because the exterior, I, I did base it off of a house that I saw online. But to be honest, I think the star of the show is the interior. I loved doing the interior and I actually haven't felt this way in a while in, in you know a lot of my builds. I think that a lot of times I have a very you know, similar kind of interior design style. But this one, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I just got kind of like a creative spark and did something completely out of my usual style. Um, and yeah, so it was super fun furnishing the interior. Um, and yeah, obviously this is the exterior. Um, it's getting darker and darker, as you can tell. Um, I'm starting to use a lot of browns and I don't think that changes. I think it's basically brown the house and even the interior the interior is also very brown but colorful colorful and brown there's a lot of brown accents i will say um so here i'm doing a little bit of the landscaping like i said um there's not too much i think i cut away some of it um and then this is the floor plan now initially i was thinking of completely like removing this entire section but i thought i would keep it in just because I want to show you guys and myself the struggle that I went through <laughs> um, trying to furnish, not furnish this, but uh, lay out the floor plan. It just took so long. Usually they're super easy, but I guess because of this interesting shaped house, I had to think really creatively about how to floor the whole thing, how to, how to make a whole big floor plan. Initially, that's where I put the stairs, but obviously, as you can see, there is this weird part I, and I, I thought about creating like a little room, making it a room and then cutting away the floor, but then the roof cut through. Um, and then in the end, I don't know if I'll get to it here at this section right here, but I ended up not putting the stairs there at the front door and instead putting it kind of in the middle of the house, which to be honest, I think is actually so much better because you know how you usually like when you get in a house, I'm thinking realistically, right? But when you get into a house, you know, you have muddy shoes and everything and you kind of like walk through the front door. So the front door is kind of like dirty, right? But imagine if you were like, you know, in the kitchen and, you know, it's time for bed. So you just go upstairs. Then you, you're walking through that like muddy entrance area. So I actually like the ending floor plan where the stairs is kind of in the middle of the house instead of at the front of the house. I usually do that um, just because, I don't know, all the houses that I've been to, they kind of usually have the stairs at the front. Um, but I thought this was interesting. So, yeah. And I know I said I cut away the landscaping. I don't know why it's still here. <laughs> I guess I kept a couple of them in there. Um, but, yeah. Everything is basically just green kind of on the outside. I did add eventually a little bit of floral um, or a little bit of flowers. Okay, there was a cut. Yeah, because it was kind of boring. Um... You know, I didn't really want to go too crazy with the landscaping. This is not a very landscape heavy, um, I guess, build. I don't know. To be honest, out of all of three of the main things, I guess, landscaping, interior design, and is it called exterior design? I don't know. Architectural design. Um, I prefer, well, I don't know. I like furnishing and I like doing the build of the house. I dislike probably landscaping the most um just because i'm not i'm i don't know i don't have the eye for landscaping it's always kind of like the last thing i think about um yeah so here i am kind of doing a little bit of or modifying a little bit of the floor plan this um initial chunk right here this initial like uh, room section this i always knew i wanted it to be a kind of a guest bedroom so it's kind of like the guest has its own little corner of the house even though it's kind of in the front door um section it's like literally right off the front door um that is going to be a guest bedroom and then this is going to be an office and here i am actually playing around with the platforms in this um house i think that um there are two rooms with a uh different level so i think the living room is a sunken living room it's sunken but it's really only like one step down so i don't know it's not really you know it's not like you have to take stairs to get to down there. Um, but yeah, so I think uh, the floor plan turned out pretty good. Um, here is also when I probably should have considered adding in a 
like a back door, but I completely forgot. So there's no back door, um, if you're wondering. Um, and yeah, so here is kind of like the main shape of it. There is a study that is opposite the um, guest bedroom, so right next to the front as well. Then um, off on that back section on the right, that is going to be a master suite. So it has a ensuite bathroom and a large size master bedroom. And then there is going to be a living room and then a, a kitchen. So there's no official dining area, but I do have a pretty large kitchen. Um, kitchen counter so that I guess your sims can you know sit and eat there um, or go in the living room yeah okay so here is where I kind of struggled a little bit but I love 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 the way it turned out I don't know I think those tiles that I just put down were like a huge inspiration to the end piece I um, usually, obviously, if you've seen any of my previous build videos, I usually go very modern or contemporary kind of style kitchen where the flooring is either like stark white or stark black. But this one, I don't know. I was just feeling in the mood for getting some funky tile and I think I pulled out some, pulled out this tile and I was like, yeah, let's go with it. I'm not sure if I would, what style I would call this. To be honest, I have never studied like interior design so I don't know what style this is I just you know decided I liked it and ran with it um so at this point I actually think I'm still not quite sure where I'm going with this but this wallpaper I yeah I keep changing the wallpaper but I do stick with this one um I don't know it it sparked something in me I loved it I don't know if I would call it is it Mediterranean? Is that the style of this? I don't know. It's like kitschy. It's kind of funky and weird and I love it. Um, now I will say I did player test it. The only thing I am mad about, I mean, maybe not. Uh, there's probably other stuff that I'm not so happy about, but um, when you play it, the walls go down. So um, you can't really see the kitchen that much, um, which is a little bit irritating. Like all the cabinetry on the kitchen wall, yeah, that, you, yeah, you don't see that in game. So I don't know if, if you play it, you know, keep the walls up maybe. I don't know. That's dumb. Um, I will say also, I do add a lot, a lot of, um, what are they called? Columns. So when you are in play mode, <laughs> you can kind of see a lot of them, which is irritating, but I think it kind of adds to the look and feel of the house, like the feel, you know, it kind of seems a little bit more, I wouldn't say cramped, but a little like cozy. You have all these wooden beams everywhere and it's really cool. I know we can't change the ceiling, but imagine if the ceiling had like wooden beams. That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, so here is kind of the final look of the kitchen. I do add, I think maybe off screen a little bit, um, some little decor items here and there. Um, the kitchen is a little bit empty, um, but I just love it. I, I I don't know. The kitchen is my, one of my favorite rooms. I will say the other room that is my favorite is probably the living room. Um, I think those two are my absolute favorite ones. The other ones, I I don't know. They, I mean, they're good, I think. <laughs> um, like I said, this was definitely a very big difference from like the usual kind of design that I usually do so um it was kind of exciting um here I did struggle a little bit with the bedroom um but this is a guest bedroom anyway so it's not really like you know it doesn't have to be too crazy it's kind of just yeah uh, a little bit of boring room not much personality um to it so it ends up turning very very brown I think the wallpaper I use is brown yep and the flooring gets even darker too um so it's just a huge brown room um but you know I don't mind it that's kind of soothing I suppose um yeah okay so one thing I also want to mention is oh, I'm so I don't know this uh doing this build I don't know for some reason it kind of irked me a little bit but like do you ever realize that like you can't change the lighting in build mode like you can't change the dimness or like the intensity wait is it intensity and then the hue I think those are the ones that you can change, right? Hue and intensity, yeah. Um, in build mode, and it's so irritating because I have to get my sim on screen or sim, put my sim like living in this build and then he, you know, doesn't have enough money so then I have to add money. But then it's irritating too because every single time you buy an item, there's a little like money sign that comes up and it's kind of irritating. But 
yeah so i don't know i thought i'd mention that um just as a feature that they could add maybe um also these curtains yeah these curtains um so i love them um it's from that new pack that i got for free because i think i don't know if it's free anymore but um the desert something <laughs> the something is it a desert or like sand pack whatever that free one came out um those curtains i love them they're really cool that you can add those little um that like curtain rod esque kind of thing um add it to the curtain the only thing though is i wish that you could change them like interchange them like have a different curtain with a different kind of uh, wooden thing that it comes out of um you can only it's irritating because if you change a curtain then some of the wood like tone will change and then you have to find the matching to wooden tone um and also those uh that little wood thing i for some reason you can't recolor it if you like click r on your keyboard that's pulls up like the recolor um but you can't do it i don't know why i have to go like copy it and then in the menu that's where i can change it i don't i don't know if that's something that other players have noticed um i mean it's cool I, I do like the curtain in general but it's a little bit you know glitchy here and there not glitchy but like it could add some functionality to it okay so anyways we are going into the living room and um yeah initially didn't know where i was going with it don't have any idea but um it ended up turning out really nice. I like it. I think it looks cool. We add this fireplace here. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add a chimney. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I'll add that in post. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I did forget. I don't know. This could be a faux chimney or faux uh, fireplace. Who knows? Um, I did add the TV above it. You know, I'm not really sure if I mean, realistically, I mean, sim wise, they don't care. Uh, realistically, it might seem like your sim has to stretch their neck and like look up um, at a painful angle, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure. I didn't really check it. Um, I also don't know if the lighting gets in the way. I do change the light um, later on because um, I don't particularly like this light in the living room um it's the same one i just copied it from the kitchen um because i like the yellow hue i like the yellow tones of it and then there's some lights that i use that are like super white tone and yeah back to the lights which irritates me why can't they just add that feature to build mode it'd be so much nicer and yeah so here i'm using this sofa that i thought like worked so nicely with this um i think it's from um the cottage living one maybe cottage living um and then i thought i'd add a couple of little plants behind initially had i had a um little console table but i don't know something about that i didn't like i felt like if you like lounged back in the sofa you might hit your head on it so i added some of the um little a little collection of plants um i love when they add those collection of plants that's kind of fun you know what? I did feel in this game while I was furnishing because I felt like it was a very plant forward house. I did feel like I was lacking in plants. I know that there is that plant like kit or something that came out. I was very tempted to get it but to be honest I looked at some of the plants and I wasn't super jazzed about a ton of them but that's a pr the one thing I wish that they that the sims team would really add a lot more of is just plants because I think that a lot of times especially because plants can go in like every single room right so you might have them scattered around um and in every single room and if you're using like the same plant over and over again because there's only a, a couple that like kind of work with the style of the house it definitely gets repetitive right so i don't know i really wish that they would add a couple of like more plants i definitely think we're lacking in plants like we all know we have an amplitude of toilets and we have a ton of bars but why don't we have more plants i feel like every player would love more plants i don't know maybe that's just me maybe i'm just a plant fiend maybe i like plants a lot i don't know but i definitely think that we need more <laughs> um yeah and like more kind of variety too like you know ones that hang from the ceiling i know we've gotten a couple of those recently which is good um but some on the walls some just sitting um on the on the floor some variants in height and stuff like that so 
yeah anyways i'm doing the usual thing where i set down a bunch of furniture kind of see how it goes with the room and then just pick whichever one i like and then delete the other um and i thought i'd add these little sofa things or not sofa things uh little armchairs you know what this build i've probably used the most different like furniture i've I've like ever used I never use these kind of chairs because I always think that they look a little too traditional and like grandma and old style um, but they work so well with this house I love it I love it because I'm using like these old kind of like quote-unquote old furniture looking um, pieces but I'm using them in a way that I mean to me I'm using them in a way that makes them still look a little bit like classy and like elegant which is nice. That's what I would kind of describe this. It's a little bit funky, eccentric, but it's not, oh, you know, over the top. I, I really like it. I think that there's a lot of character in this house. Um, I mean, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but, you know, it was really fun. I'm using a lot of different items that I never use, um, or I use them, but in, a, in just like a different way. Um, okay, so I think that we've kind of um, done a majority of the you know ground floor but now we're going to move on to flooring um it's not the official word i guess flooring or floor planning um the upstairs as you can see um i did move the stairs i'm not quite happy with where the stairs ended up obviously you can tell that like once you get up the stairs there's like a one tile wide like area that you like basically you look straight onto a, um, a wall and that's not great um i think it i, I didn't change the layout but i think it turned out okay I think it looks better than how it kind of looks right now. <laughs> At least that's what I'm, you know, hoping. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I will say the details. I probably should have mentioned this before, but um, I think... Okay, so there are five bedrooms. Now, I think that there might be like four and a half bathrooms. So there's definitely one half bathroom um, downstairs. Yeah, I think that's how it turns out. But... Um, when you put it up on the gallery, they don't allow you to do half bathrooms. So um, I think I just rounded it up. So it's like five bathrooms. Um, I don't know if, if everyone knows what a half bathroom is. It's basically a powder room. So there's no place that you can wash up. It's just a sink and a toilet. Um, so that's how it works. Um, and yeah, okay. So sorry about all of the changing <laughs> in like um, angles and such. And yeah, just kind of like working my way around. Um, and yeah, um, also, so there is a top landing as well. So you kind of have a, a secondary living room. So there's a more formal living room. It's not super formal, but it has, you know, it's very, like I said, elegant looking. But then the upstairs also has kind of like a more kid friendly, you know, hang out with your friends, turn on the TV really loud and just kind of like hang out kind of thing um, where you can get the couch, jump on the couch, get the couch dirty and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I do add a little bit of different wallpapers to each of the rooms, um, trying to get a little bit more color because like I said, I keep mentioning my previous builds, but I definitely have a theme that I do. I do white walls, like crisp white walls. I always choose that same one with the one like baseboard um, that's also white. So it's just white baseboard, white walls, and that's it. And then I always choose like a really dark um, paneled flooring. So either black or dark brown but this one um definitely playing with color a lot um i will say the bedrooms i do leave them a little bit barren they're not that barren but you know i i'm hoping that if you download this house um you know you can do whatever you want with it you can add some stuff to it you can change it out however you want um they do have a little bit of a um sort of theme though so I think one of them kind of looks like it might be for a younger kid one of them might look like it for, it's for an older kid um maybe more feminine and then um I think that there's one room that looks kind of like a little bit of an ensuite it's got that nice pop-out section um that same one that the living room has so it's definitely a little bit more grandiose I guess um also I don't know if a thing called Jack and Jill bathroom is universal, but I'll explain what it is. So upstairs, I know we're doing the guest bedroom again, but upstairs, um, two of the bedrooms share a bathroom and they, yeah, they share it, but then it's not open to kind of like the, I'm going to say public, but that's not really what I mean. It's not open to like a guest or something. Like you have to go 
through a bedroom to get to the bathroom. I think that's what a Jack and Jill bathroom is called. Um, but yeah, so two of the bedrooms share that. And then there's also another open kind of bathroom for anybody to use, guests or um, whatnot. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I don't think I've done that. Maybe I have done that in a build before. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was kind of cool. Definitely played around a lot with the layout and I'm actually super happy with it. I think the layout, it makes sense. It's it's good. I, I know everything goes. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so here I'm doing the, um, what is this called? A study section. So yeah, I think the study turns out really nicely. Um, there's a lot of activities for you to do. So I have some bookshelves that run across the back and then I have a chess table that's actually placed in front of the bookshelves, but I tested it. I'm pretty sure it works, the bookshelf. Um, I don't know if all of them work. I actually probably should have tested that out, but I do know the one on the right, um, like if you're looking directly at the bookshelf, um, the, the one on the right works. At least my sim took a book out of it and started reading. So yeah, um, I do put this violin down. I did not realize at the moment that that was the $15,000 um, or 15,000 simoleon violin. So this house ends up turning out to be very expensive um, just with the collection of items that I've also you know, added to this build. I think it's about, uh, you know, I don't know, um, but it's definitely in the hundred thousands. I'm not sure if it's close to two hundred thousands, but that's definitely <laughs> quite a pricey house. Um, usually, I don't know, do they usually turn out that expensive? I mean, obviously, The Sims is like the sim pricing is really weird. Some items are exorbitant, like pricing, but then the house still ends up to be like only a hundred in the hundred thousands even though like realistically it, it probably is like a million dollar house um i don't even know if you can get a million dollar house i think i've tried seeing some people like make a million dollar house and they end up having to put like five of those um fifteen thousand dollar violins or like buy those really expensive paintings just to fill it up or just to hit that one million um simoleon mark um but yeah so this is an expensive house it's not obviously you know realistically it's not super expensive but in the sims it's pretty expensive so definitely not a starter home um also i love that little cabinet at the front door i don't think i've ever used that you know why because i never see it in the menu um i don't know i feel like they kind of have to reconfigure the menu there's a lot of especially in the cupboard section or like the uh, accent tables or the side tables those i find are very tricky to find um yeah i don't know i feel like they're always tucked away it's either in like the miscellaneous um you know clutter section um a lot of those items i just never use just because the menu is so big and like once you scroll like five times you don't really want to scroll anymore so i don't know using a lot of items that i never would in this build which is super fun i love it a lot Okay, so um, what do we still have to do? We still have to do master bedroom. Okay, so I also want to say that behind the stairs, as you can kind of see, that there, there is a one by one square kind of block. Um, it's blocked off. I completely forgot. I was going to, I had the intention of making almost like a little bar area. I don't know if that's cool or just stupid um, in the master bedroom. Um, so just opening up that wall and then maybe just adding like a couple of shelves and like maybe a little counter um, and just having like a little plate of, I don't know, a, a drink plate or something on it to create like a cool kind of bar area. You know how sometimes if you go into a um, hotel room, you know, I haven't seen those recently, but some, I think I used to that when you go into a hotel room, they have a little bar section. Um, so something like that. I don't know, but you know what? I completely forgot. Um, and yeah. Okay. So here's what the master bedroom looks like now. It definitely has a very interesting theme. Um, I, I'm actually really happy with it. I like it. I don't know if it's going a little bit too like vampy and I say vampy because a lot of the furniture I realize I'm using is from the vampires pack. Like the, all the, um, wallpapers, like the, those very, cool ornate wallpapers are all from the vampire pack i love them i i like i said i've never used that wallpaper before or at least i think i don't think i've ever used it before but i'm using them here i think that they go with the with the build i think it's really cool i think there's a way to not make it look like you know vampire and just dark and dim like 
I don't know. Am I patting myself too much on the back and saying that it looks classy? It looks like elegant. It looks like like usually I would say that this is not my style, but I would be happy to live in here. Like it looks so cool and funky. Um, I don't know. You know what? I'm just having a ball furnishing this and it was so fun. I was just listening to music, singing along as I was doing this um, build and I don't know. I had a lot of fun. I, I did this whole build in like two days, so obviously you can kind of tell I had a little bit of fun. Usually it takes me forever to do builds. I think that, you know, I it's the excitement of like starting a new build, but then, you know, once you furnish like the fifth room, sixth room, you know, on and on, everything starts to get a little bit, you know, the, the excitement factor, you know, kind of dies down a little bit and it's not so exciting anymore. But um, yeah, this one, I enjoyed furnishing it. It was super fun. Um, even here, I am like playing with tiles. Once I kind of got the rest of the house, or at this point, you can kind of see all the furnishing that I've done. I was like, you know, the bathroom can't just be, you know, a simple bathroom. It can't be the usual bathrooms that I do. So I'm putting down an interesting tile. Like I said, never used this tile before. Very fun. Um, a little bit of Mediterranean kind of style. I think that's a style. Like I said, I never studied interior design, but maybe that's it. Um, again, using an interesting kind of wallpaper, leaning very heavy into the, I don't know, coolness of the house. It just, I don't know, it, it looks cool to me. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I am going to furnish this bathroom. I think that I might have cut some of the other bathrooms just because I kind of used some of the same items. So this is the one that I am showing. And this bathroom is huge. It's probably like the size of one of the bedrooms, I think. Um, but that's okay. I think it goes. I think it is cool. It's definitely a, huge, a nice master suite. Um, and that room off to the side, it kind of looks like it might be a, a shower room, but it's not. It's actually going to be a walk-in wardrobe. Um, and yeah, kind of off of the bathroom. And then here, I am trying to pick out a mirror. And you know what? I feel like it might be like a faux pas to put a mirror right in front of a window, but I've actually seen it in some of like, um, some interior design like blogs that I follow. Like you kind of see, they put like a mirror right in front of a window and it looks cool. I was trying to do this a similar thing, but I just couldn't get the look right. I think the window has to be small enough so you can still kind of see the window outside. Um, yeah, but anyways, um, I do realize that this bathroom is huge and I'm like, I just need to fill it up with something. So I just added this um, collection of plants again. I, I used the same one um, in the living room, but I thought I could use it again just because in the living room, the sofa is in front of it. So you can't actually see like the the, the pots that, are in, that they are in. Um, so I did add them back here and I add some mirrors again. There's a lot of mirrors in this house, I will say. I think almost every single room has like a mirror. Um, all inspiration from the kitchen. The kitchen, that back splash has kind of like a mirrored section right next to the stove or right in front of the stove. And I add it to the living room. I add it to the bathroom, the bedrooms. There's a lot of mirrors in this place. Um, I guess maybe whoever lives here is going to be very vain. I don't know. You, just because you have mirrors doesn't mean you're vain. Um, just, you know, might mean you like it. You know, they say adding mirrors makes your room feel bigger. So, you know, a tip tip there um yeah okay so actually i am showing another bathroom i think i'm showing this one just because this one is a little bit different from the rest um like i said i'm adding a lot of funky kind of things um so the sink was a little bit interesting um definitely utilizing a lot of packs um i do in a lot of my builds i will say i never restrict myself in terms of packs so sorry if you want to download them and they use a pack that you don't have um yeah, but I will say probably the packs that this build is most reliant on is that Cottage Living, Vampires, and there's another one, but I feel like I'm forgetting. I don't know. Maybe Seasons or something like that? Cats and Dogs? I don't know. Um, yeah, so here we have kind of like the general gist of the uh, main floor. I think, you know, I, I might have cut it away, but I might have added a couple of little decoration items here and there. Um, now we're finally moving on to the upstairs. So this is, like I said, this is kind of like the more kid entertainment uh, area where, you know, if you have friends over, you might just sit up here and just play your video games or something like that. Um, I think I do cut away from it also, um, just because to be honest, 
this is probably the room that I'm not as stressed about. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Um, so I kind of think I skipped ahead, but you'll still see it a little bit here and there. Um, I will say I added that little, what is it called? A grandfather clock? Um, I love it. That grandfather clock is so cool. Um, like I said, never used it, um, but found it in the section, in the clock section, um, and I thought I would add it. So yeah, obviously you can tell I kind of jumped ahead. I added some wallpaper. I'm utilizing that uh, vampire's wallpaper again as well, um, which is so much fun. I love it. I think it's so cool, um, the vampire one. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one that kind of uh, glimmers a little bit. Like if you move your camera around, it, it shines a little bit or it catches the light, but definitely very cool. It has a nice like subtle pattern. Um, and yeah, like I said, I always go for white walls, but sometimes... When you add some cool items, I don't know, it just sparks a creative um, flow and you just get into a certain section. Okay, so also, um, like I said, it's very brown house. Like obviously all the window trims are brown. A lot of the wood um, tones are obviously brown. Um, but there's definitely a little bit of color to it, which I like. It's a little bit of a darker house, but I think it still looks so cool. Ah. Uh, yeah, how, how many times have I said this house looks cool in this build? I don't know. I'm just so impressed that, you know, this isn't a typical interior design that I've done. Um, yeah, hopefully I, you know, stick with that and try to expand my, I don't know, style a little bit. I'm not really sure of the other styles. What kind of styles are out there um, that I can do? There's only so many that I know or feel comfortable with um yeah so that blue room that is a little bit of a kind of like a i don't know a in-law suite it's it's actually not a suite there's no attached bathroom so that is a bedroom that you actually have to go outside of your bedroom to get to the bathroom and that's the shared like guest one um this bedroom is the one that has the jack and jill bathroom so it shares the bathroom with the other um kids room so this one is one that's a little bit more tailored towards a, you know, it has a feminine look. Um, but I don't lean too heavily into it. Like there's a little vanity, but that's really it. Um, I think, yeah. I wanted to add right here. I'm, I'm trying to add like a little wardrobe and I really liked it. But the only problem was that door. The door was in the way, so I had to remove it. And I didn't really like, I didn't really know where to put the, that um wardrobe thing so I just deleted it but I really liked it um that one that I pulled out I think it was the oh no is the vintage glamour one I think it worked w really well with the room but it couldn't go and I didn't want to move the door too because I had a vision for you know the layout of the bathroom um and yeah this bathroom is also really big um not this bathroom obviously I'm doing a bedroom right now but um the bathroom is also really big but I thought that was okay you know two two sims are sharing it um so yeah um, all the bathrooms are pretty decent size. Obviously, the powder room is just a two tile by two tile, but that's okay just because obviously it's only a sink and a toilet. Um, and yeah, so here is the kind of kids bedroom. Again, this one's not furnished too much. I'm thinking it might be like a little bit of an older kid. Like, you know how you have, I mean, The Sims doesn't have any, you know, um, there's no like difference in aging really that much. Um, but essentially in my mind it could be for you know a sim or a person that is like 15 like maybe almost a teenager um or almost a like you know older teenager i guess um and yeah so here's the bathroom um it's pretty similar to the master bedroom um, or master bathroom i used a lot of the same furnishing um but we'll take a closer look when we get to screenshots so here is the exterior i'm not going to show too much of the exterior just because like I said, it's green, <laughs> um, but I did add some vines just to give it a little bit more character. I thought that this house, once I did the furnishing, it seemed like a house that would have some vines on it. And yeah, so here are the screenshots. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if it really goes with the world. I think that it might go better in the cottage living world, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have no excuse. Uh, I just put it in this world. I forgot which one this is. This is New Crest? The one that has like no no builds on it it's just uh, a lot of empty lots um but yeah so okay so here we're going into the interior oh, i think that's so cool i think it looks so cozy it looks lived in i love the columns the columns are a little bit of a pain in live mode but i think it adds so much to the look and feel of the build that was the um, guest bedroom 
this is a little bit more the hallway uh, here's the kitchen i have a couple of screenshots just because kitchen is one of my favorite places um it looks so cool i love the wallpaper i love that wallpaper i think i might use it in more builds or at least attempt to and then you can get a sneak peek of the uh living room which is also in that, a very similar kind of style i'm using a lot of different wallpapers it's a very green wallpaper i think it looks so cool playing with color a lot um in my houses i like to you know have a color scheme but i don't like to you know make it too too ingrained in that color scheme um do a little bit of some interesting stuff i think at the beginning um i think one of my builds i made it like very red and black and you know i don't think i've ever really watched any of my old builds but maybe one day i should go back and watch them um just to see how my design has changed um yeah so here's the upstairs um added some screenshots there um here's one of the bedrooms another bedroom i don't have too many screenshots of the bedrooms um bathroom and then here is the little kids room or not little i should say um but the kids room it's a little bit smaller than the rest of them um i tried putting in a double bed it was a little bit cramped so that's why i made it a single bedroom instead or a single bed um here are some of the screenshots of the floor plan um just so you can get an idea of how everything flows um and that's really it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys hopefully in another build bye